what is up you two we're back at it again it's your girl miss tink that's m-i-z-z not m-i-s-s you already know the channel is not your post tv y'all and we're back at it again as you can see in the description box below we're here to talk about none other than bt presents the encore season one episode three do the record and baby we gonna get into it Y'all, if you see my last video, check out and support my boy Jamar with the Circle ATL. But I just had to put that out there. You know, I got ripped my book. But anyways, let's get to this episode, y'all, because baby, we got some things to talk about. But anyways, let's start. All right, so the um, the episode basically just picks up where we left off as far as they chewing Aubrey, not Aubrey, excuse me, um, drunk ass list chicken throw Achille ass out to the point where she crying and they don't give a fuck she done went into the damn kitchen with the fudge twins where they give her ass some damn tough love and tell her basically like bitch you need to step your cookies up that's you want to be the creative director so bad step your motherfucking puss up bitch and i mean it is what it is i'm, I'm sorry like Keely, your ass sitting over there trying to be creative director you ain't create shit you sat there and let brother chuck your big sister take your shit just like that and sorry you, you should have came out with something instead of there holding a damn wine glass all the time, always drinking with your drunk ass. That's why I call you drunk, list, chicken, throw, Achilles. In that order and whatever order, them three things are you, girl. Anyways, they ain't paying her no damn mind. One of the Fudge twins basically apologized to her for calling her a two-faced bitch. And basically, she talking about she want a clean slate and a professional girl. That's a lie. Anyways, they're going over as far as they, the other ladies in the room, over what they want to do, the direction, and what type of... um music they want to sing so they're first of all they're all cool with singing towards their husbands as far as since the majority of them are married women which you know a for effort with aubrey on that one you know what i'm saying again uh, drunk ass keely you need to be watching this okay anyways um after that they have direction they have basically a goal and a vision. They all good. Shamari shoulders like, look, Keely, this is what you should have been doing, okay? Let's get to the studio and let's get to it. And I ain't mad at her. I ain't mad at her. So they all in the studio listening to a song called Bird's Eye View. I liked it, but I I feel like it has, it, 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 it don't seem like everybody put their input in it. It does have the Fudge Twins little twist on it. And I don't know if they feel like they want to have their little hands on everything just in case if this shit goes south with this project. People on TV can see we do this and we do that. So pick us, pick us regardless. It just seemed a little undermining. I could be wrong or reaching, but I just felt like it should have had a twist of everybody's beating everybody's sound and everything on there. So it could be everybody, not just one person acting like a producer or should I say two people that got the same face acting like a damn producer. Anyways, um... As they're trying to basically go over everything, they're asking, where is Misha at? And I'm sorry, Miss Misha, girl. You know, I like you, girl. But you should have been there, girl. You should have been there. And I loved how when they talked about Bird's Eye View, how it brought out some more, you know, stuff with Irish and her backstory about how that song basically made her feel like when they was coming up, because she just got her record deal, her first one at 12 with um, SS702. Everybody in her family basically wanted she took care of everybody if y'all seen the damn um uh new edition movie that came out two years ago on bt pretty much in that sense how they depended on the boys to take care of the whole family and get everybody out the projects in a nutshell that's what you know they pretty much did to iris so much to the point where she had a beautiful son her son pretty much ain't got nothing so this coming on this show is everything and getting back into the studio is everything so that way when it's you know time for her to go home when you know when the lord get the knocking her son has something left on this earth so that way he is you know taken care of which i understand take care of your offspring she took care of her whole family she need to have something for her baby so i understand anyway you know but um after all of that the very next day we see that you know um drunk ass list chicken throw Keely want to basically start over and have a clean slate with everybody so she talks to misha about you know everything and how she doesn't want to bring any more toxicity energy to it and misha like look i ain't got an issue with you you know what I'm saying? Like, I, I I don't. You cool. Your drunk ass cool. You know what I'm saying? Drunk list chicken throw a keely goo. She goo. Not good, but good. And them twins though, me me should say them twins is brutal. Uh, and, I, and I honestly, I understand where she coming from. She see through the bullshit. She see through their bullshit. They trying to be kumbaya, but I, like I said, I feel like they setting shit up that 
hey, you're going to always pick us. We're going to always have some money. And I understand, but I don't like the way they're doing it. They should ask everybody's input as far as a beat or everything just to make it look like it was a group project. I'm just stating. But anyways, and but I was kind of shocked. I don't know if she putting on for the camera with, you know, drunk lips, chicken thrower, uh, Keely was actually feeling, you know, Bride of Chucky, Big Sister, um, idea with the groups and everything in the vision board. I was like, oh, okay, we shall see. Anyways, we see Fudge One and Fudge Two with, you know, Bride of Chucky, Big Sister in the um studio talking about the song Skeleton, and they decided to use it for themselves and basically go upstairs and tell Misha that they're taking it. And I'm feel Misha like, wait a minute, you just gonna take me off the song? Like, we don't talk about it. Nothing, just take me off. Like, just drop me. Like, I like the song. Like, what's wrong with? Me trying to at least put in the effort just to see and then we could come together as a collective and vote. Not just y'all just drop me and I understand that. Which is why I say, Misha, she's seeing through the bullshit. But whatever. Anyways, and I'm sorry. You twins, you talking about divide and conquer? I feel like that's going to be y'all downfall, but whatever. Um, After that, we see Bride of Chucky Big Sisters, pretty much the creative director. Um, She basically feel like this. If... Misha is ready to write and get into the studio. She needs to do a skeleton song. Like, hey, we need to do it. You know what I'm saying? We, we need to have a meeting about it. We need to have a meeting about everything. And that's what she go up and told her. You know what I'm saying? After that, we see, um, uh, what'd she say? Um, can't think about that. But, uh, after they had that meeting, I forgot. Uh, one of them damn fudge twins. Again, it's y'all delivery. It's y'all delivery. That's why I have to think about it real quick. It's y'all delivery that be pissing people off. Like, you ain't got to say how you're supposed to have a vision if, um, how you're supposed to have a vision for everyone if you don't have the music. You didn't have to talk to them like that. It's your tone that be pissing me off that I feel like that's what, you know, me should be feeling like, bitch, I'm going to slap your ass. Like, y'all real allowed me to work on y'all tone. I really feel like y'all are the downfall of what could have been cherished, but whatever. Elijah and Cosign come through. They ready to start some tracks and lay some shit down. Everybody getting ready to record. And all of a sudden, Misha, she worrying about it so much. She gave her ass performance anxiety. Trust me, I done had it before when I did my first little performance on the pole. I was like, oh my God, Misha, girl, you got to get it together, baby. Especially when you got these little ugly ass. Well, they ain't ugly, but these little stuck up, the, stuck up their asses ass uh, fudge double mint twins coming at you, or should I say, making these little shady ass remarks, they're going to get y'all ass at the, at the reunion, I pray that they get y'all ass at the reunion, but anyways, um, Misha has uh, performance anxiety to where she can't do it, and they all looking at her like, what the fuck, and you know, she walks out, and that's when, of course, you know, Bride of Chucky, Big Sister, feeling like, how in the hell you want to do a song, but you leave it, like, I would not want to leave, like, we need this studio time, we need y'all to do this song now, because we need to get in the studio tomorrow, we need to come up with some hits. And in a sense, I feel where she coming from, which is why it's like, Misha, stop sabotaging yourself. Y'all only got a deadline. But again, it's just the deliveries and the way they come at it. Maybe I'm too sensitive or maybe I know how to talk to people in a different way. I feel that way. But baby, just stop the shadiness. But anyways, let's get to some more shit. All right. So pretty much um, after all that, we see that the recording session was a dud. And pretty much Elijah and Cosign was like, look. We're going to get at this tomorrow. I need this place to be oozing of inspiration. We need to put this damn record down. Look, they done paid me with umpteen days and you wasting my time. Time is money, okay? I done got paid for how long and I ain't coming up with shit. I'm trying to showcase too. It's pretty much, I feel like they said in the nutshell, but whatever. Now, we see that them um, Fudge Twins got an issue with the fact that Misha ain't feeling too well. And then all of a sudden, they make the little statement. And I want to make sure I said it right with my nose and shoulders. You know what I'm saying? They sit over there and said, um... They about to take matters into their own hands. And they started playing their little song. And it was a cute little bop, but something about that did not sit right. And then, of course, after that, we see um, the next day that pretty much Pam and Aaliyah basically getting it in. Pam, like, look, I'm trying to get what I need to get done. When I was told I did a little two-step, not all this, but, hey, I need to get it done. A for F for Pam. Go ahead. You, you still doing it. Team play. Woo -woo. Um, After that, we see the Fudge Twins are awake. Then we see, of course, um... Brought a chuck and big sister's awake. And of course, drunk list chicken throw a key. Girl, what in the fuck did you have on with that damn dress? What is up with your fashion girls? Is this why you drinking so much? Y'all, that damn dress looked like a damn reject color purple dress that did not get off the sewing machine and it was scraps for the fabric. Like straight up. No ma'am. Look like damn old ass wallpaper with bubbles in that's coming up. I don't know what the hell was up with that girl. Girl, your fashions. But whatever. So 
Um, basically, brought a Chucky ready to get inside the damn uh, studio. She did not see it for Keely. She think Keely full of shit, but she understands the deadline and we need to get this shit done. I'm like, girl, bye. She's still throwing shade at Misha too. And of course, drunk list chicken throw a Keely, but I guess, girl. After that, we see um, everybody's down there after getting ready for, to get into the studio. Misha come down there. And then that's when they start talking about the different songs and playing it. They play talking. And when Pam heard the word ho, she was like, oh, I can't do that. I'm not about to disrespect women. I don't do that. I grew out of that. I am deliberate. I am not doing it. And all of a sudden, you know, everybody wanted her to be on it. They was, you know, trying to pitch an idea of a remix. But all of a sudden, them damn Fudge twins came in and say, well, let's take her off there. And I'm sorry. I was with Nivea. Why are you just going to take her off the song? You don't sound right with her off the song. Like, we're supposed to be together. Like, what the hell y'all doing? Nivea peeping game, just like Misha peeping game. And so am I. You damn double mint twins sitting over there trying to do whatever you can. And y'all even the damn great value of the Dollar Tree brand of double mint. Come on, you fudge twins. Get it together, girl. Like, that shit was so out of line. Y'all could have wrote something different or something for, um, for Pam. Y'all know how she is. And everybody got an input anyways. But you see, when they mention bird's eye view, y'all, oh, them damn fudge twins were quick to say, everybody can't sing. And I'm like, see, this is why everybody got an issue with you because of y'all delivery and how you talk to people. But I guess, I mean, I'm sorry. I'm so glad Misha got y'all together, but we'll get there in a second. Um, After that... Nivea is basically sitting up there with all like laughing in the confession. She looked good too, by the way. And I, I was so with her. She's like, baby, the shade, the sh I need a shade book, baby. This shade is real. And yeah, it is. It's really real. It is. I'm sorry, but whatever. Um, and then when Nivea was like, vagina, 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 this ain't gonna go nowhere with all these vaginas in here. That's very true, girl. Okay, I'm just saying. But after that, um. Uh, we see they're all meeting in the um, living room, and that's when we see Miss Cedar Bay, Miss Cedar talking, you know, asking them questions, you know. And everybody tried to play it cute, like, we go, we go. Not motherfucking Nivea. Nivea's like, we got some issues. Shit ain't going right. I love when she said in damn confessionals, look, I'm the only solo artist, but all these bitches over here acting like they solo artists. Yeah, they are. Especially them Fudge twins. I see them bitches. But, you know, she kept it real with Cedar. She kept it real live deal to the Holy Field. Like, look, we got a deadline, but shit ain't going right. But as we know, Cedar mentions they now got to pick a new queen. I don't know who they're going to pick this time, but I had a feeling that it was none other than, of course, and I found out I was correct, Brother Chucky, big sister, Aubrey. She is just itching, like, pick me. She wants to. She on her P. Diddy shit. She done worked under him. She know what it is. She trying to basically make sure she keep a constant check. I'm sorry. And I'm sorry. Uh, drunk list chicken throw a Keely. You might want to put the wine down, work on them fashions, and pay attention to around you, girl, to everybody around you, especially Brother Chucky, big sister. She coming for you. She coming for you, girl. But whatever. She get picks. So she's now the new queen. She all happy and stuff. She like, okay, let's get it or whatever. And I'm sorry, um, you damn fudge twins, don't be shading Pam like that. Talk about she all meek and stuff, but y'all like, yay, yay, yay. Keep that same energy. That's why people be going in on y'all, okay? Whatever. So um, after they announced it, of course, it wouldn't be, you know, the end of this scene to get to the next scene without, of course, drunk list chicken throw a keely. Throwing shade at Aubrey, talking about this is going to be a disaster. You just mad, girl, that they picked her and not you. Get your drunk ass together. Get your chicken throwing ass together and them fashions. And then think about being a creative director. As of now, baby, you've been debunked. Because she came and took that shit right underneath your list noses, okay? Promises, promises. You wouldn't promise to be creative director for too long. Let's get into it to the next scene. All right, so pretty much the last couple scenes of the episode, whatever, pretty much going to be wrapped up in a little bowl because once uh, Brother Chucky Big Sister is crowned queen or whatever, the very next uh, scene, you know, twins feel optimistic because, again, because Aubrey did, you know, and I'm calling her Aubrey this time because she did come with that vision board way better than drunk, list chicken thrown Keely as, you know, one who dubbed herself creative director but didn't come with nothing creative. Anyways, and just being a, like, a... a yes man or a lackey just trying to agree whatever we get all that um nivia working out they want to get started on some music or whatever and then lo and behold when they pull up the music um irish and misha part is gone from the song 
Oh, how ironic, y'all. It's gone from the song. I'm sorry I don't trust them fudge ass twins. When them heifers sit up here and said they're going to take matters into their own hand, I feel like they did that shit on purpose. Misha was pissed. Irish went and re recorded, but Misha was pissed. And I understand why she was pissed. I would be pissed the fuck off, too. So bad to where she went to go talk to the other ladies about it and everything. And they decided that, you know what? Let's just all have a talk at the dinner. Y'all know how it is at the dinner. So they all cheers or whatever. Mm, come on, whatever. Come on. And then that's when Misha just went to. It's like, you supposed to mandate, right? Uh, um, by the Chucky Big Sister. She like, yeah, okay. So look, twins, I ain't feeling what the fuck y'all doing. I ain't feeling y'all attitude. I ain't feeling like how y'all just sitting over here taking over everything. Not letting nobody put in their input. And this motherfucking song's reeks of y'all, okay? Reeks of your old cherished days. You can't go backwards. You can always go forward. Only go for it, not always. Only go for it. So why the hell we ain't moving forward and asking everybody's input? Now all of a sudden, my motherfucking part comes off the song. She didn't say it like that, but I feel like that's what she meant. You know what I'm saying? She called their asses out, and I guess they tried to, you know, deflect, throw up their accolades, talking about, you know, there's a difference between um Sharon and being qualified because Misha called their asses out about how the fuck was y'all twins? How the fuck did y'all grow up? Because y'all are horrible as Sharon, and they are. They basically caught on to y'all games, you fudge ass twins, and y'all could not handle it. The same way y'all had that energy for, you know, drunk list, chicken throwing, keely ass about her being a two faced bitch and starting shit, y'all should have kept that same energy when Misha came at you. Now sit up here and say y'all feel unappreciated and, and, and y'all do the record, do the record, do the record. Yeah, no, they called you out and you could not handle the shit. Instead of asking everybody's input on music and all of this and that and testing everybody's skills on that switchboard, whatever y'all want to call it, y'all took matters into y'all own hands and now y'all got called out about y'all shit and you can't handle it so miss me with the bullshit okay you fudge twins miss me with the fucking bullshit i'm sorry it got heated it got so bad that motherfucking um brought a uh brought a chucky big sister ass stop feeling them damn twins and i'm sorry she was like no it's two different things that we got going on i want to quote this too because um she 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 was semi right but I feel like them fudge twins, they set up here and said she was wrong because they was trying to deflect. So she set up here and said, and I want to make sure my words is right when I say it. So I'm looking at my notes and y'all forgive me. You know, judge it to my head, not my heart. She want to say people want to be included and people that are doing the work want it in a certain way. And she was right. She wasn't wrong. She was right. Y'all just didn't want to see the shit. It got so bad that even Nivea was like, look. This is what Misha is saying. Y'all motherfuckers sit up here, act like y'all better than everybody. And no, don't nobody want to be around that. The only thing I have to say against that when it comes to Misha and feeling some type of way about them twins, liking her and rolling their eyes. Misha, fuck them twins. You already fucking up. If it wasn't for you, 702, black, uh, total, them bitches wouldn't even be here. Y'all paved the way for them hoes. So boost that confidence up, boo, and fuck them bitches. You already know your worth, boo. If it wasn't for you knocking down the doors, them bitches wouldn't be here. I'm sorry. Them fudge-ass twins would not be here. And I feel like y'all are the reason for y'all demise when it comes to the group, too. This is why y'all only didn't make, what, two singles that I know about. Because I damn sure didn't buy your damn album. But whatever. Anyways. So, um, all of that just pretty much, they was just going back and forth. It ain't going nowhere. Misha was like, fuck y'all bitches. I'm leaving. Fuck that. I'm going to bed. I ain't hungry. And went the fuck off on their asses in the confessional. She like, hear my confessional here. Fuck them bitches. She was going the fuck off. She had it up to her with them hoes. I was like, oh. And I ain't mad at her for going the fuck off because she saw through the bullshit and y'all could not stay in the heat. That's why y'all asses were so quick to leave or talk about do the record because you couldn't handle it. Throwing up your accolades and shit. I don't like that. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. But I was so here for Nivea ass dancing on the bullshit. I was so Nivea. I'm with you. Let's dance on this bullshit because this is fucking bullshit. Everybody saw through the shit. Nivea took me the fuck out though when she said, this is just disappointing. Just like this wine. I said, <laughs> I love you, Nivea. I love you, girl. She, she is the I'm so glad she's on the show. She's the comic relief. I love her. But y'all twins, y'all talking about y'all feel unappreciated. I see y'all sitting over here trying to plug y'all old uh, second single to get some money. No, she called you out. You couldn't handle it. Deal with it. Stand in your shit. Like you told motherfucking um, drunk list, chicken throwing keely ass in the beginning of the episode. Accountability, y'all need to have it too. It works both ways. But anyways, y'all, I'm not about to go on and on. 
I'm getting ready to eat and go to bed. Y'all, like, comment, and subscribe. I'm Miss Tink. That's M-I-C-C, not M-I-S-S. You already know the channel is not your post to TV, y'all. Y'all have a blessed one. Deuces. Good night and happy pride. Y'all be safe and turn up. Bye, y'all.